Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In our previous tutorial, we built a server-side application called Stock Trading Server, where we demonstrate unary communication in gRPC. But what is the use of a server without a client, right? So in this tutorial, let's build the client application and see how it can communicate with the server to consume the gRPC services. Okay, all right. So without any further delay. Let's get started. So this is the server side application we have created using gRPC and if you check its implementation we are exposing only one single RPC method or gRPC service called get stock price and we are giving the input as a stock symbol. Okay, this is what the simple implementation we have done for gRPC server side application to fetch stock price based on the symbol from the database. So if you missed the video, just check out it. I will share the link in video description so that you can refer that. Now let's quickly create our client to access this particular RPC method. Now let's go to the Spring Initializer. We are using latest version of Spring Boot that is 3.4.4. Now let me add all this field. Since this is my client application, I will name it Stock Trading Client. Then we will just add a dependency. We need only gRPC dependency. Okay. All good. Generate the project and import it to your IntelliJ IDEA. So this is our client application. Now if you will check the pom.xml and if you observe the dependency section, we only added Spring Boot Starter gRPC. Okay. Now let's add all the required dependency for gRPC. All good. Just update the project. So we have added all the common library which we need to work with gRPC. Now also you need to replace one more dependency. In Spring Official there is no direct support of this gRPC client at this moment. So for that you can replace this Spring Boot starter for gRPC to this net.dev1. Okay. So you can use this dependency for client. If you want you can use it for the server as well. But we have the server support from the Spring Boot. For client you must need to add this particular dependency and then all other dependency which we usually add to kickstart with the gRPC. Now let's do one thing. Our client application is ready and we have already our server application which is up and running. But how client can communicate with the server? They needs a contract, right? So the contract is nothing your profile which we already created in our server side application. Now let's use the same profile in client to generate the classes fine so in real time you no need to repeatedly do the mbn clean install to generate the java class out of this proto that will be done by cicd pipeline for now since this is the demo let's generate it manually because we have the plugin added in our pom.xml so from the server application let's copy this proto file into client application then we will generate the java class then it will be dead easy to make the connection between server and client. Let's copy the proto file. Copy this. Go to your client application. You will find the same proto directory. Just paste it. Because the both client and server will follow this particular contract. Okay. That is what the beauty of gRPC. They will play with the proto buff. And this is what you can create your proto file to maintain or to just define your contract saying that okay this is what the request this is what the re response and this is what my rpc method now let's do one thing since we have the proto file with us let's generate the java classes so to generate the java classes you can run mbn clean install just run it once it seems build is failed for what reason test run one okay so what happened we didn't added any spring context specific dependency but we have the test case who is using spring context 
just comment it i don't want to write the test case at this moment just ignore it and rerun the mbn clean install now build is succeeded go to your target folder go to generate source you can find this structure right this is what already we understand in our server side application so i don't want to repeat it you need to mark this particular directory as a source root then you will see this particular structure if you will go inside java you will find all your request response if you will go inside grpc hyphen java you will find your service class this is what the grpc service we are defining as a contract fine and this is what your method name service name and get stock price is your method name and this is what your grpc generated methods rpc methods and request class is this response class is this now you need to think since this is grpc as it's not rest we cannot do the rest client or web client call because we don't have specific url for grpc service then from this client how can i access to the server so for that reason grpc will give you one proxy object or one stub object if you will search here stub can you see here create a new async stub that supports all call types for the service it will create a new stub you will find lot many stubs create a new blocking style stub which is kind of request and response model it will not help you to stream the data this will be fine for unary operation this is the class name stock trading service blocking stop you can see stock trading service future stop create a new listener listenable future style stop that supports unary call on the service don't worry there are so many stops object will be created by grpc we'll understand once we'll start to use them in our upcoming classes okay fine now let's use the blocking stop at this moment just go to your project create another package let me rename the package now in the service we'll create a class then annotate at the red service so in client side it will be fine you just need to define that as a bin which you want to test or which you want to access this is not a grpc service or this is not a grpc server application since this is just a client i want to consider this as a bin now what do you understand how can you access the grpc server using stop for that what i can do let me inject the stop first let's use the blocking stop blocking stop is correct fit for unary because we are relying on the request and response model in unary so you can use it but this blocking stop you cannot use for server streaming client st streaming and bidirectional streaming for that you need to use the actual stop instead of blocking stop when i'm saying actual stop that will be your async stop now just define the variable now the interesting part you need to annotate this with at the rate grpc client if you observe this annotation came from this particular dependency what we have added but if you will use the spring boot starter dependency you won't find this option now here you just need to define the name any name you can provide let's give the meaningful name now this stop will be registered as a client okay so you can use this stop to call any method from your server so if you remember we have the method called get stock price who need the request as a stock request and return type as a stock response right this is what our method or rpc method structure we have defined in our server or we have defined in our proto file if you observe here this is what the method right which is already exposed by grpc server and we are just trying to consume from here so let me define this now we can simply call 
सर्विस ब्लॉकिंग स्टॉक डॉट गेट स्टॉक प्राइस व्हाट इट एक्सपेक्ट इट इट एक्सपेक्ट द रिक्वेस्ट सो जस्ट बिल्ड द रिक्वेस्ट एंड पास इट विल डायरेक्टली कॉल दिस मेथड फ्रॉम द मेन मेथड बेटर लेट मी पास द नेम हियर द इनपुट व्हिच इज स्टॉक सिंबल नाउ विल बिल्ड अ रिक्वेस्ट हियर you can return it this is what the stop using stop we can happily call the server side rpc methods now let's test it so to test it you can you have multiple option you can write your junit test case you can define a rest endpoint and call this particular method again you need to play with the json for your testing but a quick testing you can go to your main class just use implements from command line runner override the run method then inject your client service now you can use stock client service dot get stock price hard code the symbol at this moment let's check in our dv okay let's take this particular symbol we can print some statement so that will get it in the console grpc client response now when you will call this particular method it will use the stop that is what we are define in our client class it will use the stop the stop will connect to the server or stop will communicate to your server side application which is nothing our trading server and whatever the logic we are executing here the request will take the stock symbol then it will fetch from the db the database which we have then from the database it will build the response object and will return to you that is what the simple flow right client and server communication we are trying trying to test so let's run our server and run our client we'll see the magic so we started the server so you can observe here grpc server started listening on address 9090 but tell me one thing how your client will know that my server is running on port 9090 and i want to connect to that particular server no right you need to tell to your client hey this is what the server is up and running this is what the port here are using you just connect to that so for that i will create another file called application.yml and i will define all my server specific configuration i will define grpc client what is the stop name we have defined in our client stock service right so the same name you need to define in your application.yml file to make the connection to your server which is running on port 9090 so make sure don't do this mistake keep the same name what you have defined as part of the grpc client next give the address the address you can define static local host 9090 this is where my server is running then content negotiation type since this is protobuf let's define it as a plain text this is what the configuration you need to define as part of your client all good now the client will start on port default port of spring boot that is 8080 let's run our application since we have defined the grpc call the client call in command line runner in console only will get the output can you see the output grpc client response stock symbol is google price is this timestamp is this so client will connect to the server server connect to the dv and return us this particular stock response fine now let's try with some different symbol go to the dv i'll try for this stock symbol change the input here now to show you that the client communicate with the server i'll do one thing i will just start the trading server in debug mode so we added the breakpoint so once stop will try to connect to the server and once you will call your get stock price method 
the request will land it to this grpc service method okay that is what i am just trying to show you with the debug go to the client just run it so request come to the server application in client what is the input we have provided stock symbol as apple right now it will fetch from the dv we got the stock entity from the database this is what the value we have in our dv then server will build the stock response object and then once you have the stock response object it will be emit by this response observer that is the purpose of using on next right so on next on completed on error if you observe in this particular stream observer class we have these three method on next will keep emit the message from server to the client on error if there is any failure and you want to attach to the client you can use on error on complete will send the success signal to the client saying that the task is done okay so this is what we are doing here in line number 37 38 complete it go to your client see in the console we got the response if you observe we we are using if you go to the client we are using blocking stop which is fine for now because we are using the unary operation okay we are experiment on unary operation in upcoming classes when we will start using the server streaming client streaming i will show you how you can use the async stop so this is how you can make the connection to the grpc server from your client in my upcoming video we will cover the server streaming end to end example with real time scenario till then stay tuned i'll see you in the next video